choose this day who you will serve, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. You know, there's actually two choices that we all have to make. We all have to make a choice about who is our God, and we have to make a choice about who we serve. And even as Christians, those aren't the same choices. You can choose God, and I would contend that many Christians choose Jesus Christ as their God, but they don't choose him as who they will serve. And I'll call this little g, little gods. Many Christians have little gods that take a place of preeminence in their lives. It can be family, it can be work, it can be money, but we have to make two choices. Ultimately, everyone has to make two choices, and I hope that people understand that when you choose Jesus Christ, it's not a religion of naivete. It is, it's a thinking man's religion. It's, you, you peel back scripture and you go layer and layer and you get deeper and deeper and deeper in faith. And hopefully you can take those two decisions, the one of the God and the one that you serve, and you bring them into congruence to where you're worshiping your God. And if we choose Jesus, then we should serve him with all of our heart, soul, and mind.